day 14 at um for vlogmas rolling 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 but um i wanted to um just talk about a few things real quick a lot going on today um i just came from uh and um i just came from a client meeting that went really well i closed the deal so i was like hey i'm going shopping but uh shopping for me means kid to kid or once upon a child for my baby so um Jael is in a Christmas performance tomorrow at school and I needed to get a um, Sunday best type dress for her as well as some shoes. We have dresses at home, but I don't know. I just wanted something like new or, you know, new ish. And um, I found something really cute. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then I'm going to pick up some fundraiser stuff from her school. Y'all tell me this, like whenever um, there are activities at the school, um, I want my baby to be a part of everything because I don't want her to feel excluded or, you know, I don't want her to feel any kind of way because I remember very clearly as a little girl not being able to do certain things with my class because of finances. And they'd send me to another classroom with another teacher, a whole new sets of students that I have, you know, I don't know these people. I'm just sitting there because my the rest of the class are going on a field trip or something. Or they'll, they'll send me to the library to like just read books and stuff. And that's horrible. It's a horrible feeling. And I never ever want any of my children to have to feel that way. So everything that comes up at the school, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. But it's so overwhelming. Like for the pumpkin patch situation. It was it was only eight dollars for her for her to um participate in the pumpkin patch. But I couldn't imagine her not doing it and the rest of the class is out there getting pumpkins and they're talking about it in a class and you know they're doing little arts and crafts and games and stuff like that and she's like just sitting in somebody else's classroom. Like that would break my heart. So even a little eight dollars and five dollars and ten dollars here and there like it just adds up. But anyway, this fundraiser situation. So this is our first go round, uh, go around with a fundraiser. And back in the day, I just remember fundraisers being like the little candies, you know, two dollars for the world's finest chocolate bar and stuff like that. And I know they still have those, but for some reason, like they're doing like gourmet type fundraising stuff where they are purchasing, um, they're selling like giant tubs of cookie dough or uh cheesecake you know big twenty dollar cheesecakes or the the tub of cookie dough is like seventeen dollars i'm like what the what you know like that's crazy i couldn't imagine purchasing that but i didn't want her to not be a part of the whole uh getting prizes thing so it's like sell three you get these prizes sell six you get these prizes sell ten you get these so i was like okay I'm going to purchase six of them. So I spent $100 on cookie dough, y'all. But um, what I'm going to do is just give them out to some of the clients that have uh, referred business to me. So it's not a complete waste, but that's crazy. Like, I'm in sales. I've graduated with a degree in sales. Um, I do sales for a living, but I'm not about to go sell nobody some $15, you know, $20 cookie dough. Like, I just can't do that. That's crazy. Um... But at the same time, I always support people when they were they, their children coming uh, for fundraisers. But I don't know. It's just I, it's, I just seemed excessive. So anyway, I'm going to pick up that from the school. And then um, my little company has a little Christmas gathering at the office. Just some appetizers and drinks for the uh, office staff. It's only about 15, 20 people there. So it's nothing big, but it's just a little cute little function. That's today at 4 o'clock.